welcome students previously we have discussed the <coughs> population growth in any habitat or any geographical environment and we had discussed uh, the equation uh, regarding the population density that is uh, nt plus 1 this nt plus 1 is equal to nt plus b plus i minus d plus e it, it has been discussed previously so I need not uh, exp explain it uh, furthermore and uh, uh, this equation uh, relates with the two different uh, modes of uh, growth model one is the exponential growth and the other one is the uh, logistic growth here is uh, the diagram in your book uh, figure number 13.5 and uh, this is uh, representing it is a graph uh, represented uh, by x axis and y axis so x axis is re representing the time and the y axis is representing the population density uh, represented by capital n of english letters here uh, you can see uh, two curved lines one is in red color and the other one is in blue color the uh, red line color is uh, uh, denoted by a uh, and the blue color line is denoted by b a is uh, denoting the exponential growth and b is uh, denoting the logistic growth if we talk of uh, exponential growth uh, resources such as food and uh, space availability is obviously essential for the unimpeded growth meaning thereby there is no any restriction acting behind the growth of the population ideally when resources in the habitats are unlimited each species has ability to realize fully its innate potential to grow in number as darwin observed while developing this theory of natural selection then the population grows in an exponential or geometric fashion in a population of a size n the birth rate per capita birth here you can see the per capita birth is represented as b and death rate per capita as d then the increase or decrease in the population density during a period of time that is the unit time period it is t this t is uh, multiplied by dn into uh, divided by dt this dn divided by dt it is equal to uh, this dn is the change in population size over a time unit t that is represented as dt it is equal to b minus d into n n is the population size and this b minus d is uh, the real intrinsic uh, uh, rate of the ecosystem or you can say that the intrinsic rate of natural increase in the ecosystem or any habitat so dn by dt is equal to rn r is in this equation is called intrinsic rate of natural increase and is a very important parameter chosen for assessing the impact of any abiotic or biotic factor on the population growth this uh, <coughs> population growth is uh, uh, limited in some of the cases and that is represented by the carrying capacity this carrying capacity is uh, represented as k and carrying capacity is the maximum limit of any area or any habitat to hold the population of uh, various organisms this can be uh, this can increase population size can increase up to maximum limit if uh, the food availability space availability availability the predation competition there are so many factors and these factors can be uh, 
discussed in population interaction so uh, there is a figure or the table 13.1 at page number 232 we shall discuss it in our next video thank you